Michael here. I am here to do a review of the Torque Pro app for Android devices. This app will pretty much work on any type of Android device um, that has enough processing power to run this. Um, it's a fairly um, in-depth app. Um, it does have a lot of features. It can pull a lot of content off your ECU. Um, this is really designed for vehicles 96 and newer. And I've been using this for about a week now. I'm just going to give my opinions on the app and what I think about it. So on the first thing here, you got your home screen. This is going to be the main screen that opens up every time you open the app. Um, as you can see, you have a couple thing options to choose from here. Uh, some of those things um, being real-time information, uh, fault codes, uh, map view, map view. Um, so pretty much the features of these, this is, we'll get into that one. This is going to be fault code, so when your car is running, you can scan your ECU to see if you have any type of check engine lights or um, any type of fault codes on stored in the ECU. The map view is pretty much what this will do, is this will store your driving habits. So what it does is, as you can see, um, I apparently, according to this, I'm driving fairly aggressive. So as you can see, pretty much my whole map is red there. Um, until I get around here, then it's very light driving. I pretty much drive a 50, because all where I drive is pretty much big roads. Um, but what this does is pretty much every day that you get in your car, um, you can pretty much have the store where you're driving, the time you're driving, what speed you're driving, the RPMs. I mean, the expandability and the features of that is pretty cool. The second thing we have here is the track recorder. Now, what track recorder is, it pretty much it uses your built-in device's um, camera, and it will record um, what the camera's seeing. At the same time, you can have a map overlay. You can turn the map overlay off, um, and you can turn it on. You can view your past recordings right here. Now, as you can see up here, um, I currently do not have this plugged into my car, but um, you do have, basically when you're taking a video, it's going to show all the stats of your car. So when you go back and watch your video later, you can see exactly what was happening um, at that time, you know, what your throttle position was at, what your intake pressure, PSI was, um, all this stuff, your speed, RPM, all this stuff can be live monitored, which is extremely cool. Um, especially if you just want to show your friends or if you if you do have um, a track car you go to the track with um, it's pretty cool now the second thing here I have a Hyundai so I download a specific Hyundai app this will pull more um, basically data from my ECU than just this app alone um, test results is basically a graph I really can't speak for this um, so much because I haven't used this specific uh, part of it too much However, um, the, the time I have used it, it's actually fairly neat. Um, let me go ahead. And um, graphing, kind of the same concept. It'll, you know, you can basically merge all the data together. Adapter status, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. That's just going to tell you if the adapter is connected. At the time, you can see I am not because I'm not my car. But uh, you get your Bluetooth and... It'll tell you the manufacturer of your uh, adapter, all that good stuff. Um, as you can see, I mean, there's just a massive, massive amount of settings in this thing. So moving on to the actual uh, real-time information. This is the main thing here. So the real-time information, this is going to be the main thing you're at when you're using this um, app. So how I this is how I might have my setup. Um, I have a couple different screens. Uh, we'll start with this one all the way in the corner. Um, not everything's going to show because like, again, I'm not really connected. Uh, but basically, you'll have all of your information here. Um, I'll go ahead and just zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. Um, this is showing up on the camera as yellow for some reason. But I mean, you can basically scroll through all this stuff here. Um, you got your throttle position, uh, coolant temp, um, that's the biggest thing for me, just making sure my coolant's always uh, at a good temperature. I got my fuel flow per hour, or gallon per hour, throttle, all of this stuff, um, specifically how I like it. 
Now, you can change this, and I'll show you guys in a second here. So what you do to add a, a piece of data on here, or a little widget, you hold down on the screen, you're gonna hit add display. All right, so you get once you're actually in here, as you can see, you have all this information to choose from. You can choose all your zero to 60 mile an hour times, quarter of a mile, one eighth of a mile, um, acceleration sensors. I mean, I'm not gonna read all these because we would be here for a couple hours, but I'm just gonna scroll through as you guys can see here. I mean, you got your cat one, cat two sensors, which actually does register on my car. It'll actually pull the temperatures, which is pretty neat. So you can see if you have any type of blockage and your catalytic converter. Uh, you got your engine power to the wheels. That is an estimate. It's not too accurate. Uh, engine load is pretty neat. Um, engine oil temperature does not work on my car at the time. Uh, engine RPM. I'm just going to... And what happens is when you do plug this app in, once it registers with the OBT2 reader, uh, these will basically light up a light green telling you that those are actually active, um, basically data sensors that you can click on and that it's going to pull that data. The ones that are not lit means that they're not pulling the data from the ECU. This basically means your car doesn't have that sensor enabled. Uh, like as you can see, like I have a barometer on my Note 3 it's registering that it's active and that I can actively pull the data from it right now. And then as far as, I mean, you just, I mean, intake manifold pressure, um, there's a big one as well. And um, we can tell, I mean, um, you can do miles per gallon, liters per gallon, O2 sensors. I mean, you can just see, I mean, if your car has access to all these things, you know, how much data you can actually pull from this app. Uh, you can do basically a trip um, distance and I mean just massive amounts of things so say I want to add on my trip time while stationary I have the option to select how big I want it uh, we will say I want a large and then pretty much that will be there to stick so when I scroll that will be stuck there um, I'll just show you guys the um, so this is going to be my all this data here and then if I scroll over you have revs speed um, voltmeter miles per gallon it, and that is instant miles per gallon and so yeah that's pretty much everything so um, as far as if you guys have any questions about this app um, it is a really awesome piece of equipment to have if you want to monitor your cars you know your cars live data pretty much um, I've experienced from just monitoring my rpm gauge on my car to the rpm gauge on here it's pretty much dead on so if you guys have any questions about this app or um, any um, comments, uh, feel free to leave them in the box down below, and I'll go ahead and respond. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'm out.